What's up guys, welcome back to the Stafford Way channel. So this morning we're going hunting and uh, it's the last couple of days before everyone in the world starts shooting a gun, you know, around here. But um, we're going to take the crossbow and we're going to try to get lucky before everyone else is going to be out there shooting in the same deer. So we're going to get dressed, get back there, sit there. Um, It's sun's starting to come up so we'll be a little late before the uh, daybreak and sunrise there. But anyways, let's get back there and... uh. Wish me luck, because the last couple times, I have not had a shot on one, so let's see what we can do today. Alright guys, so, we're out here bright and early this morning. As you can tell, the sun is just now starting to come up. The uh, birds are chirping, so let's keep close at that time. Gotta stay quiet. Um, I haven't heard much movement this morning, but I just got here like 10 minutes ago. So, we're gonna sit still. Alright guys, so this is day two of this video. Um, we're at it a little later today, unfortunately. It's hard to get out of bed in the mornings, especially when, you know, every time I go back there, the deer literally go like right past me. So yesterday, I didn't tell you this, but I'm sitting there, um, an hour in sitting there, a deer probably 200 yards away, takes off down the hill. Eh, didn't get a shot on that one. And, uh, anyway, because I'm using a bow and with all them trees like there's no point of taking that shot um so then we sit there we sit there and then this huge buck i don't know how big like its rack was um and how many points it had period but i do know that the body on this thing was like insanely big and it jumps through about the same distance away that the other one took off down the hill to, to the left it jumps through comes towards me um about probably five feet and then turns right uh, and goes down the hill to my right side. So both of these deer just took off. And <laughs> so I had no shot on either one of them. And, and I was upset because that buck was huge. But anyways, we're getting at it a little late. We're going to get back there. Um, thankfully, it's close to the rut. Or it could already be the rut. I don't know. So the, the bucks will be moving kind of later in the day anyways. So we still have a chance. The issue is I'm still hunting over a food source and a uh bedding area and that's not really where you want to be during the rut you know you know, during the rut you want to hunt them buck trails um but unfortunately i don't know where my buck trails are i haven't been out there to actually scout those so i'm just gonna chill where i'm at they're probably sniffing me out because when they when they run their buck trails they're you know they're sitting for uh does and and estrus and they're sitting for hunters and and such like that so if i'm behind well if i'm in front of their line they already know i'm there uh, so I'm hoping I'm behind the line, but I'm pretty sure I'm in front of it. So it's probably why we're not getting lucky, but who knows? We're going to get dressed and uh, give it another shot today. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this has been very eventful. I uh, <laughs> I was looking right there in that little spot here, and he came through here. He wouldn't come close enough. He came through there, but I took the shot right there. So I don't know if I hit him very well or not. We'll find out. Um, but then, like, 10 minutes after that, a coyote ran from there straight through this path, like, full sprint. It was nuts. But anyways, 
I'm going to sit here for a little bit longer, and then uh, we'll go looking for him. I'm trying to wait it out and see what else comes through just to kind of see what we got. So stay tuned, everybody.